Hi, Lee. So I heard you graduate finally today. Yes, I'm so excited. Congratulations. Thank so, you. Lee, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I am originally from Minnesota and uh, living in Las Vegas. And I decided about six months ago I wanted to make Latin America my home. So I moved to Panama and I'm visiting Guadalajara and we'll see what happens. Wow. So you've been like everywhere, almost pretty much, everywhere. Pretty much. Yep. So jealous. So, can you share a little bit about your experience here at ITTO? Um, it was more intense than I thought it was going to be. I mean, you really have to prepare for 10 to 12 to 14 hour days, depending on when your teaching schedule is. So, um, you know, come rested, <laughs> be, take good care of yourself, eat good food, you know, take those breaks and, you know, really do some self-love while you're here. But the class itself was amazing. There was just so much information and so many teaching opportunities. It was spectacular, really more than I expected. I'm glad you had a great experience here. So how has ITTO job placement program helped you? I have not gotten a job yet, but I appreciate the times that we've been able to meet with um, Hector. Um, he's helped us get resumes done and the cover letters and all the portfolio stuff together, just really in preparation for actually um, doing some applications and um, you know, hopefully getting those interviews. And I love the fact that there's a job placement guarantee. That just is one of the reasons why I chose this company over some of the others. That's just really beneficial. Okay, and are you planning to start working right away or are you planning to explore town, to explore the city? Uh, I'm ready to work. You know, find a job for me, put me to work, I'm ready. <laughs> Excellent. So what do you think about your trainer? Loved Mark. Mark was absolutely the best. Even though English is his second language, he still knew more about um, grammar and all of those kinds of things that we as native speakers do, you know, because we're not really exposed. We just speak the language and yeah. don't really study the language. So this was really good to brush up on all of our skills for, for teaching as well as for self-knowledge. And he was wonderful, funny, um, knowledgeable, just ready to help the students. He was just available, you know, really precious. I think that happens to everyone that has like a second language that most people that actually teach the language know more than the native speakers and that's really amazing yeah there's a lot of things that you as a native speaker don't know and that's really really amazing we might know what sounds right but we don't know why it's yeah. right <laughs> yeah that's that's yeah. right that's true it's it's really amazing to mm -hmm. know about languages so what do you like about guadalajara um i love the history that was one of the reasons i chose to come here was 500 years worth of um, Hispanic history and all of that. And to put it in perspective, the Spaniards were building their cathedrals here when my ancestors on the Mayflower were coming over and building log cabins. They had already been worshiping in these cathedrals for 100 years. It's just astonishing. So the history and the background and the wide broad streets and it's a clean city overall. Um, it's just a really an amazing place. What do you think about the food and the people? Um, the food is spectacular. I have been making it my mission to go around and try all of the various taco stands oh and to see which one is the best. And every time I come to class, you know, I'll say, oh, hey, I had a whole meal with a drink for $4. And I come back the next day and say, hey, I found a whole meal for $3. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And some on weekends have the mariachi music on the street, you know. And it, I need to know about fun. those places. It's been fun. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a great, a great time over here. And about the course overall in general, what would your recommendations be to other people who would like to take this course at ITTO? Um, definitely come um, expecting to work. So it, this is not something that you're just going to sit back in class and take a few notes and pass. You really have to apply yourself. So come ready to work, come ready to apply, come ready to teach. Um, be ready to try new things, come with an open mind and be teachable. Um, in other words, be ready to receive some constructive criticism because there is some of that from the observers, you know, ways you can improve or try this the next time or do this better. And you have to be open to those ideas because it certainly is a different approach than most of us that have done any teaching in the past have done. So it's student centered and it's a very, very different kind of way of thinking. Well, Keely Will, thank you very much for sharing this little time with us, a little bit Welcome. of you, a little bit of your experience. Uh, Again, congratulations on finishing this four intensive weeks because I know it was really intensive, like you said. So most of all, I appreciate all the effort. Uh, and this time you shared with us. So thank You're you welcome. very much. Lee. You're welcome. Thank you.